Yahoo's assessment of the risk of this event has not changed since the last update, the 22nd of January, very high in China, high at the regional level and moderate at the global level. Here is a summary of the January 25, 2020 update from the World Health Organization Situation Report. One, a total of 1,320 confirmed cases have been reported for novel coronavirus 2019 NCOV, globally, 2. Of the 1,320 cases reported, 1,297 cases were reported from China, including Hong Kong SAR, 5 confirmed cases, Macau SAR, 2 confirmed cases, and Taipei, 3 confirmed cases. 3. A total of 1,965 suspected cases have been reported from 20 Chinese provinces, regions and cities, excluding Hong Kong SAR, Macau SAR and Taipei. 4. 23 confirmed cases have been reported outside of China in 9 countries. 5. Of these 23 confirmed cases, 21 had travel history to Wuhan City, China, one case in Australia had direct contact with a confirmed case from Wuhan while in China, and one confirmed case in Vietnam had no travel history to any part of China as mentioned in Situation Report published on 24 January. According to preliminary investigations, this constitutes an instance of human-to-human -human transmission within a family. 6. Of the 1,287 confirmed cases, excluding Hong Kong SAR, Macau SAR and Taipei, 237 cases have been reported as severely ill. 7. 41 deaths have been reported to date 39 deaths in Hubei Province, 1 death in Hebei Province and 1 in Heilongjiang Province. 8. On 25 January 2020, the number of reported confirmed cases of 2019 NCOV has increased by 474 cases since the last situation report published on 24 January 2020. During previous outbreaks due to other coronavirus, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS, and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, human-to-human -human transmission occurred through droplets, contact and fomites, suggesting that the transmission mode of the 2019 NCOV can be similar. The basic principles to reduce the general risk of transmission of acute respiratory infections, avoiding close contact with people suffering from acute respiratory infections. Frequent hand washing, especially after direct contact with ill people or their environment. Avoiding unprotected contact with farm or wild animals. People with symptoms of acute respiratory infection should practice cough etiquette, maintain distance, cover coughs and sneezes with disposable tissues or clothing, and wash hands. Within healthcare facilities, enhance standard infection prevention and control practices in hospitals, especially in emergency departments. WHO does not recommend any specific health measures for travelers. In case of symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness either during or after travel, the travelers are encouraged to seek medical attention and share their travel history with their health care provider. Travel guidance has been updated, 